Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So it's been a quick minute since I've done one of these wheel of rebuilds here on my YouTube channel. But I'm going to say, guys, straight up, I absolutely love food. Yes, guys, I am a meal creator. I'm a fridge protector. I'm all those things out there. And I'm going to say straight up, if you guys come near that last slice of bitch-ass pizza, please believe you are going to catch these hands and probably lose a hand in the process. Yes, guys, for today's video, we have the wheel of NBA players' favorite food. So on the screen in front of you, you do see a wheel has different foods on it. We are going to spin this wheel seven times to create our NBA team. Basically, each one of these foods is associated with the NBA player, and this is their favorite meal or, you know, things they like to have maybe for a basketball game, everything like that. Just because, like, what does come to the NBA, you know, a big part of your success on the court is your conditioning and what you put in your body. I mean, you've had guys out there like Lamar Odom who would always eat candy before games. I know LeBron James, he eats, like, really healthy before games and things like that. But, you know, everybody has, like, their guilty pleasures. I think some of these are also guilty pleasures, stuff like that. There's something out there called Suicide Kool-Aid. If somebody can explain to me what that is, um, it sounds pretty damn dangerous. But here we go, guys. We are going to make, uh, make our team of seven people, and we're going to see if our team can go 8-2-0 in the NBA. Also, before we start this video, if you guys want some more of this type of 8-2-0 uh, wheel rebuild challenges, be sure to drop a like on this video so I know you like that kind of content going forward. Without further ado, my bitch ass talking, let's spin this wheel, guys. See what we get. See what we get. And the first food we get is salmon with broccoli and zucchini, man. Who like freaking bitch ass salmon with broccoli and zucchini for your favorite meal? That's like what you eat when you're cutting out there, man. When you're going out there... I don't know, man, trying to, like, lose some weight. But honestly, guys, the favorite food of this is actually the player we're on right now, John Wall. Yes, guys, he is actually one of the most athletic players in the NBA, John Wall. So it does make sense, you know, if, like, if, if his favorite food is, like, healthy stuff, it makes sense of why he's such a great uh, conditioned and just athletic NBA player because he likes that kind of stuff. Me, personally, I mean, give me some of that suicide Kool-Aid and some tacos, and I'm good to go for the night. Assuming suicide Kool-Aid isn't something that, like, actually uh, is what it states. Here we go, guys. Second spin. We get, we get, we get... Chipotle. Now, believe it or not, I've never actually had Chipotle before. There's actually one, like, right down the street from me. I just never got around to having it. I've heard it's pretty good. Um, I just never had it before, guys. This is actually the favorite food of the Greek freak, Giannis Atanakupo, guys, which is actually kind of crazy because I remember there was a tweet on a Twitter account from, like, two years ago saying, uh, you know, just tried my first smoothie of all time. America is great. It was something really funny like that. Um, but I guess this man likes Chipotle. Now, I, I don't think they have Chipotle in Greece, but maybe they do. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you can catch that fast food feelings real quick when you come to America. It's really easy to do, my friends. That's why we got a very large weight of contaminant cup right here. But it's all good, man. We all, you know, we all like our food in America. Um, but yeah, why not go to the Celtics? You don't play for those Celtics. You play for the Bucks, man. 95 overall. By the way, shout out. We got Giannis on this team as John Wall. I'm pretty damn happy about that. We're going to be feasting up in here, man. Here we go. Spin number three. See what we get. We get, we get, we get. French toast. French toast, hamburger, fries, and catfish. Now, this one did not make sense to me because, like, is that, like, everything at once? Like, do you put French toast as, like, a hamburger burger on bun, and you put, like, a hamburger on it, and then fries and catfish? Is that, is that like, one meal? Or are these just, like, four separate things that this player likes? Because you can't have four favorite foods. You can only have one. But this is actually the favorite food of the uh, point guard for the OKC Thunder guys. Russell Westbrook. So maybe that's the secret of getting triple doubles is maybe the reason he's so good is because he eats all this stuff at once. You know, like the French toast hamburger catfish sandwich. Um, guys, if you are trying to be a great basketball player, I do not suggest trying that out. But that was Thunder start with the T, right? T for Thunder, man. 92 overall, Russell Westbrook. So sad to see us rain down 92. We all know he's like a 95 overall player in real life. Uh, just a lot of struggles going out there. Maybe lay off the French toast and catfish and just focus on some basketball. You know what I'm saying? JK, man, he's very in shape. Obviously, he's like one of the most athletic point guards, if not the most athletic point guard of all time. But we have three of our seven players. Next spin, see what we get here. Let's go, let's go. We get... Who the hell's favorite food is bitch-ass grapes, man? I'll say straight up, I like grapes. Grapes are good, but like, I've, I've never like sat there eating a grape and being like, oh my God, this is so freaking good, man. I like freaking sex in my mouth or nothing like that. Oh my God, the freaking grapes are so amazing. I'm like, nobody says that. They can't be your favorite damn food. They can be your favorite fruit. Maybe you got the question wrong. Anyway, guys, grapes is actually the favorite food of another Thunder player. So I'm a little nervous about this. But yes, guys, Paul George, who is only 88 over on now because of the struggles right now on the Thunder. Damn, dude. But yeah, I guess this man uh, likes grapes. Maybe it's because George starts with grapes and grapes start with G. What am I even saying, man? Let's get this wheel rebuild going some more. What's that? Four spins? Spin number five, please. Let's go. And we get seafood. See, seafood is, no, is another cop-out answer. I guess it may be your favorite type of food, um, but this is actually the favorite food of the man, the Pelicans, DeMarcus Cousins. Yes, man, he likes that seafood. So, 
know, maybe got some fish or some crab legs or some, I guess, what other seafoods out there, man, I don't know. I don't know. All sorts of stuff out there, right? Personally, I don't know. I like cod and stuff like that. I guess I like, I've tried smoked salmon. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I like perch, stuff like that, but not really like the biggest seafood, man. But I'm a fan of Marcus Cousins, so welcome to the team. That is spin number five. So far, that lineup's looking pretty good. I would like to get maybe uh, more of a, some more superstar players out there. We got two more spins. See what we can come up with here. And go from there. And we get... Jai... Gai... Gyro... Gyro... Ain't that that freaking bitch-ass purple dragon from the PlayStation 2 games? Gyro the dragon? That's who it is, right? Bro, who the freaking eating dragons up in here, man? You can't eat no bitch-ass purple dragon! That's like saying your favorite food, dinosaur. You like him purple, the Barney the purple dinosaur. You want to talk about some of your freaking purple dragon, guy roll the dragon? That don't make much sense to me, but apparently that's somebody's favorite food. And actually, this is the favorite food of Warriors, a shooting guard, Clay Thompson. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's like China Clay or something like that. Maybe China Clay likes eating dragons and stuff like that. I don't really know. Just very interesting, but I will take your three-point shot on my team. Thank you very much. Welcome to the squad for that. All right, here we go. Another spin. I might do another spin for this, too. Just kind of feel like it. We get... Chocolate. Whose favorite food is... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, chocolate, man. Oh, no, I touched wrong, guys. This is actually supposed to be chocolate milk, which is actually even more of a weirder food than chocolate because chocolate milk's not a food. It's a freaking beverage, but this is actually the favorite food slash beverage of the power forward of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Kevin Love. So, all right, man, come get you your... Uh... Come on, the drone. You see, man, that's why we got to do a little spin anyway because, like, that does not count as a favorite food. Go, bitch ass out your chocolate milk, Kevin Love. He loved that chocolate milk, though, man. It's in the name. Kevin loved that chocolate milk. All right, well, it's all good. So that's uh, seven people. I want to do another spin, guys. I want to do another spin. Why not? Why not? And we get tacos. Whose favorite food is tacos? It's actually it's actually the uh, power forward of the Denver Nuggets. So ain't no chicken nuggets. He likes tacos, man. It's Paul Millsap. Here we go. You know what, guys? One more spin, man. I feel like it. I feel like it. And I don't like Paul Millsap that much. Really don't want to play him all that much, if I'm being honest. So we get, for the final one, we get. Yes, 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 man. <laughs> Bro, y'all y'all must might have been looking at this wheel real and being like, yo, mice? That don't make sense. Who I want the freaking mouse? That's gross. Well, guys, let me ask you this, this question right here, guys. Think very carefully about this one. What is a snake's favorite food? If you answered mice, you'd be correct. Do snakes play basketball? Well, there's one I can think of. He plays for the Golden State Warriors. The man likes eating mice. It's Kevin Durant. And all serious guys, his favorite food is actually crab legs. Um, but yeah, man, <laughs> I thought mice was more funnier than that. So look at me and my jokes. Me and my puns out here. So welcome to the team, Kevin Durant. Actually, a player that uh, fits our team very nicely right here. So yeah, man, we got like like eight, nine-man rotation. I'm actually better with that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, guys, formulate the roster, get the season going, and then we gonna start this A2 and O challenge. Okay, so the team we are rolling with is the New Jersey Dragons. It's the only thing that I can find is similar to food since Clay Thompson likes the Spiral of the Dragon, right? So. Uh, looking at our starting lineup right here, we're going to go with Russell Westbrook, Clay Thompson, Giannis, Kevin Durant, and DeMarcus Cousins with Paul George, uh, John Wall, Kevin Love, and Paul Millsap off the bench. I definitely think this squad is A2 and O material, guys. I mean, you got all these 90s across the board here. Like, who is going to beat this team? I mean, even like the Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're missing Kevin Love or Kevin Durant, you know, guys like that. Or Clay Thompson, even on the Warriors, too. So I really don't see a team that is going to put us down. Um, so yeah, man, let's just go A2 and O, get this over with, and talk a little bit about some more food because it's a great thing to talk about. Look at that, man. Oh, back bag wins right there, baby. Let's get it, baby. Okay, man. So I do have some questions for you guys. Um, first and foremost, if you are a basketball player or just somebody that plays any sort of sport, have it be baseball or football, what is like your favorite pre-game meal? Like what's something you like to eat to get yourself going? Uh, maybe you play more at nighttime if you're like a football player or maybe you play in the morning or something like that. So what gets you going? Like I know Richard Hamilton of the Detroit Pistons, he said we growing up, um, his father all... Um, always made him eat an entire pineapple and drink an entire gallon of water for every single game. Now, I know personally for me, I'm somebody that doesn't really like to eat before going to, to like exert energy just because like, I don't know, I, I get very nervous easily. So I cannot imagine like a little crispy flakes going into the NBA being like, oh, it's game seven of the NBA finals here. I got to have my pregame, whatever, because I will literally throw up on the damn court, guys. I would. Um, so I don't know. Like, I, I know like when I go work out. 
Um, typically what I'll have is like two pieces of wheat bread whole or whole grain and I put like an egg on there with a piece of grilled chicken That's that's usually pretty good man. I know it sounds kind of weird, but for me I don't know it's got the, a good uh, source of carbs and also Proteins out there a little bit of fat too So I like that before any like if I like play a sport or something like that, but yeah, I, I know like a lot of NBA players um, Their favorite thing to actually have before a game is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which is kind of Okay, I understand that like peanut butter jelly is good depends, depends on the jelly man like I like creamer or crunchy peanut butter But uh, as soon as you get some bitch ass jelly up in there if it's like nothing good Then I'm gonna be very salty about it. I ain't gonna eat the rest of it man. I ain't gonna eat the rest of it So I don't know just kind of curious about that kind of stuff there uh, I know I saw a YouTube video once about just different like you know athletes and what they like to eat before games like that and It's just very crazy to see just I was saying earlier that um, some people they like to go like the healthy route with things and other people they like to go more like the junk food route or just something that, like to them just tastes good it gets them going so i don't know guys it's absolutely crazy to think about but uh so far so good in the simulation um things are going well out there also by the way I, I guess i should probably like mention the other like favorite foods of the players that were on the wheel rebuild just in case you guys were curious so uh there was prime tuna sushi that was marcus all tacos paul millsap grapes was paul george chocolate milk kevin love uh mice kevin durant french toast russell west for pizza kemba walker and anthony davis uh, suicide Kool-Aid is the favorite food by Draymond Green. Maybe that's why he's so damn crazy or something like that. All that suicide Kool-Aid. Somebody tell me what that is. I have no idea at all. Mexican was DeAndre Jordan, Seafood, Demarcus, Chicken Parm, Stephen Curry. Uh, LeBron James' favorite food is cereal. And also says turkey and shrimp. So I don't know if he likes it all mixed together. That's not something I've ever had before. But maybe it's one of those goat meals like we were talking about with uh, the man Russell Westbrook out there. Chicken pasta was James Harden, Gyro or Gyro or Spyro was Clay Thompson. Chipotle, Giannis, and Sam, of course, was John Wall. Just if you guys were wondering about that. But, damn, yo, 76ers kind of balling up in here, man. Damn. Y'all trusting that process. But at the same time, we took away a lot of superstars out here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to say straight up, guys. The freaking simulation on this damn game takes forever. Like, I'm talking here about food and stuff. I'm just rambling on. And uh, cause I, don't, I, don't want, I don't like to, like, skip ahead in these type of videos just because, like, I like, you, I like you guys to see the entire simulation and see if we can go 8 2 0 um, but damn, it looking like it's definitely a possibility, man. So we got rockets coming up here. Uh, rockets coming up next. Damn, what else can I ask you guys? What else can I ask you guys? If we got these last. We actually, man, I don't really got much more talking, man. We got ten games to go, baby. Come on, let's get hyped for a second. Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, I, I guess one quick thing. If you guys have any more suggestions of any type of wheel rebuilds, you like? Oh fuck no, bitch! God damn! The freaking Phoenix Sun Chips beat me. Oh my god, guys. Yo, listen to hell up, Ryan 2K. Ryan 2K, listen to your bitch ass stuff on, man. We are freaking 74 games in. We gonna, we gonna lose to the damn Phoenix Sun Chips out here. Ryan 2K, I want you to go walk up to your mama. I want you to go walk. Yeah, I'm gonna do a mama joke. I don't care if it's freaking 2017, man. I'm going back to the 90s or early 2000s. I want you to walk up to your mama, Ronnie. Ask her what her favorite food is. You wanna know what it is, Ronnie mom? Sheila had herself a big old helping... Of crispy flakes last night. Big old bowl of crispy flakes. She's like, oh my god, this is my favorite food, Ronnie. Oh my god. And guess what she had with this? Some little suicide Kool-Aid, man. A little suicide Kool-Aid. Oh my god. I cannot believe we lost. We were so I don't think I've ever gotten this close A to no and then lost a freaking game this late. Unbelievable, man. I thought for sure we had our team was freaking dominant, man. We was out there cooking. Well, one more game. Oh my god. That one L just is oh we lose to the Phoenix Suns. Somebody threw date 81 and 1 on the dance. Jeez, man. Stephen Curry, man. Oh my god. Isn't Curry a type of food too? Speaking of that. Ben Simmons, Rookie here, John Wall. Why don't you why don't you all wear the correct uniforms? Y'all ain't Los Angeles. Rudy Gobert. Looks like uh Rudy uh Go Gogurt. That's a, yeah, Gogurt, man. That's a, that's a type of food. Yeah, we're doing good here. Ethan Nicholson. It's probably lost of the damn game right there. He can't coach. Y'all got some superstars up in here, man. All right, let's check out the player stats here real quick. See who dominated for us. Um, it's kind of a longer video. I'm not, my apologies if you guys don't like long videos like this. But, hey, it is what it is. I like to share the entire experience. So, uh, scoring-wise, pretty much everybody did their job out there. Kevin Durant, nearly 20 points, 16 for Giannis. Rebound, Giannis and Durant held that down. Boogie had about 90 game himself. The assist, uh, Russell Westbrook was actually sharing the basketball out there. And only 1.8 turnovers. So, definitely not bad there, but still led the team in those. Defense, everybody bringing it out here. So, damn, even the man, uh, Feces Azili got I don't want no feces by my food. The same, man. Don't want none of that. But I didn't even add him to the team. I know how we got there. Here we go. First round, Detroit Pistons. Simulate current round. And, all right. Got them four games. I swear, man. At least let me lose a playoff game. So I don't feel too bad. Simulate current round against the Celtics. Oh, my God. We about to sweep everybody out here, man. We got, we got one freaking L up in here. 
All right, simulate current round. Yeah, got them four games to zero. Oh, my God. Here we go. Houston Rockets. Simulate current round. Unbelievable, man. We lose one game in the entire video. That's a big L right there. Giannis, the Greek freak out there getting the uh, MVP. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, man. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.